Hey guys, this is the Cake Boss coming to you from out of Chester. And this is the beginning stage of my incredible pulp fist that I'm attempting to make. So what I did was I used Rice Krispies and I'm going to form a fist, as you can see. So hopefully you can see it. Maybe if I stand it up. Here we go. So it's going to be like that. Side view of it. And I just took a whole bunch of Rice Krispie treats, guys, and so this is the beginning stage of the whole thing. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm back, and this is the second part of my superhero cake that I've done. I showed you the first part where I was sculpting the Hawk hand, so he is sculpted and he is done. So, um, so, the bottom tier is Batman, which I just got finished doing his logo. And then the second tier is Superman, so there go his logo waiting. And the third tier is our Spider-Man. And the Hulk will be coming out of the third tier. So we had some problems, but when I finish the cake, you're not going to be able to see that part. So, this is my decorations drying and getting stiff and ready for the cake stay tuned guys hi guys this is my keisha coming to you from out of chester and out here they call me the cake boss and this is my latest theme guys this is a superhero cake so let's get started with telling you about the cake the bottom tier is two 10 inch dirty ice stacked together and i just needed in three drops of super black to get this gray Covered with my gray guys, I made my cape. Then I went on to cover my next tier, which is two eight inch dirty ice stacked together. And I needed in some royal blue to the white Wilton fondant. Cover my cape guys, made this cape on the side. The top inch is two six inch dirty ice stacked together and I covered it with the red Wilton fondant. So all of my decorations is made out of fondant. And in a previous video, I showed you, I made them using a template and I just sat them on some styrofoam so they can set up. So my husband made me some cool templates. I don't have them out. I would have showed you. So we had some cool templates and that's how I came up with the logos. The spider is also made out of fondant and you see him in the video just chilling on the styrofoam. The web is also fondant that I just rolled out. Now, my hawk hand, guys. In a previous video, I showed you how I sculpted him out of Rice Krispie Treats. If you can see his nails. I sculpted him out of Rice Krispie Treats, as I said. And I showed you in the video that I had some issues with covering this hawk hand. Now, it was very simple to do the cake, but when it came to the hawk hand, it wasn't that simple to cover it. So when I airbrushed the details, that's when it came alive. And you really can't tell the issues that I had covering it. So, and I just airbrushed some lines and just to embellish, you know, his hand. You can see his nails, his thumb. Now, the problem that I had was him coming through the cake. Well, when I covered the six inch, before I, when I dirty iced it, I put a circle of red fondant right in the middle. So as I took my serrated knife, I just cut to try to make him look like he was coming through the cake, but his hand was too big. So I had to just put some in myself. So. Um, I would say we had a little bit of structure issues because when I put the hawk hand in, just to secure it, I kind of pressed down, so it made my cake kind of tilt. Well, all's well. You can see it that way. It's tilted, but it's okay. It's stuck in sound, and it's very shiny, guys. I just got finished steaming it just to brighten up the colors and make them pop more. So guys, this is my superhero cake. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked it. Shoot me a comment. Let me know what you think of my cake. 
This is the Cake Boss comes to you from Chester, guys. You always can find me on my Facebook at JJ Sweet Tooth or find me on my website at JJSweetTooth.com. Shoot me a comment. Let me know what you think of my cake, guys. As always, thanks for the love and the support. It's awesome.